Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Sword. Last time, we basically finished off the post game for the main game of Pokemon Sword. Today, we're taking a we're taking our first steps into the DLC. The Isle of Armor is our first destination, so ooh, that's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. You have a crown pass too. You can also go to the Crown Tundra. Where would you like to go today? Now, we could go to Crown Tundra, but I'm doing Isle of Armor. I'm doing this in order of the way they've been released, so... Let's go ahead and head on out. Well then, the Isle of Armor. We're landing? Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researcher. I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. If you you want to register the Pokemon you catch on the island on your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Alrighty, we've got our Pokedex updated. The Isle of Armor Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Thank you. When you've caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your Pokedex. Alrighty, well, we could do that, but I'm kind of lazy. Um... Hello? I'm supposed to join the dojo on the island today, but... There's a strange person standing outside the station, and I'm a bit scared to head out. Ah! There you are! Right on time, too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Hmm. Hey, have we met before or something? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm Clara. I've been at the JoJo for a while, so they sent me to help out the newbie. Uh, I think you've got the wrong person. Oh, come on. I know you're the new student who's supposed to join the Master Dojo. Huh? What's going on? Am I being mocked by a kid? I'm the colorful, caring, and charismatic Clara. Well then, how about we have a quick battle? Just so, you know, we can see who's better. I'll be waiting outside, so come on out when you're ready. <laughs> She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> oh boy. So... Let's go ahead and get started and seeing what this crazy bitch has to offer. I do want to hear what this guy says. Was that person from the dojo? Maybe I'll pass on joining. Hey, why don't you join instead? <laughs> well, you're saying so. Well, hey, this place looks pretty nice. It's so basically a whole other wild er area. <laughs> I bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armor. I bet you can't wait to start exploring, but first things first. We need to make sure you're ready. Since I've already been at the Master's Dojo for a little while now, I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? <laughs> God, that face. Challenged by Pokemon trainer Clara. <laughs> Don't push down too hard on that ball, you'll break it! Venipede! Remember, it's just a test, so take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle as I knock you out flat. Oh boy. <laughs> so, Venipede. Poison type. Poison bug type. Pyroball. I do like her battle theme, it's really neat. Down in one. How am I the one getting back into a corner? This should not be a thing. All right, all right. Oh, you brought out Slowpoke. <laughs> all righty. So, this little fella is a pure psychic type, if I recall right. So, let's go ahead and smack him silly. 
Gotta up your game, Clara. Sorry to say this. Uh, well, my next Pokemon is going to make short work of... Huh? Was that my last one? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no, no! Oh, no, no, no! There must be some mistake! Not, not good. Not good at all, man. How did things... How did this kid get so strong? This kid joins the JoJo. Nobody's going to pay attention to my strength. I could just tell her to buzz off. No, they asked me to bring in the new student. Oh! <clears throat> hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out. Not at all, but still. But, you see, our dojo's the one that's got a long-standing reputation. Even the famous champion Leon trained at our place. Oh, really? No offense, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite good enough to make it. So, how about this? Why not enjoy the sights? But just stay away from the Master's Dojo over there, okay? Here, I'll even give you this. You know, as a souvenir. Style card. Style card that increases the selection of boot in boutiques and hair salons. So we could change our hairstyle a bit more if we wanted to. Just show it when you visit a boutique or a hair salon, and they'll let you buy stuff that's not available to most people. Anyway. I guess that's that. See you never. Yeah. <laughs> uh, orale. So yeah. We've got ourselves a new wild area to explore, sorts. Galerica twig. Twig from a species of tree called Galerica that grows in certain areas around the Gala region. It's material for an accessory for certain wild Pokemon. Now there's a... it's basically... you use them to create items for, uh... a Slowpoke to evolve. Both its normal... both its Slowbro and Slowking form. So, there's a whole bunch of berries and dens and all sorts of stuff around the island. So... Apricorns. Uh... I'm done. One pink apricorn, two petcha berries, a charty berry. That's a new one. So, we could go to all sorts of things. There's even a whalemer out there. Now... We could explore... But we're gonna kind of be doing that. Ah, fuck it, I see an item. Give me a second. Now, what I'm gonna have to watch out for is Sharpedo. Bottle of Calcium. Boosts the special attack of a single Pokemon. Hi, I came here from a different region. I've been looking for Galarian Pokemon. Maybe you have a Farfetch from here? Would you give a Galarian Farfetch to me? I could give you one from my region. Uh, so the thing is... Oh, we can actually do this. Yes, I've been searching for ages for one of those. You sure about giving this to me, though? Eh, yeah, sure. So, we can actually see the trade mechanic going on. Boing. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> for a split second, I thought this was a shiny. This is amazing! I will treasure it forever! Pokémon really are amazing, aren't they? The way they can look completely different just because they live in different regions? Let's simply trade again sometime! So, there's all sorts of dens around here you can explore, and all sorts of stuff. Ugh, that right there is a fucking Sharpedo. That's a big whale whalemer. Ooh, a dive ball. You can find all sorts of items around here. It's actually pretty- there's actually quite a lot to do, but I don't want to trail too far off the main story. We'll explore as we go along. So... Let's... Go ahead- ooh, it's pretty sunny out here. Let's go ahead... And what's this? D- D? D D. Diglett! Oh, Diglett! You're here! <laughs> you little rascal, I was worried about you. Dig! Thank you for finding my Diglett. Is it from Alola? Oh, I didn't expect to meet someone who knows about it. That's right, this is a Diglett from the Alola region. 
When I traveled in Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three with these adorable three hairs. Caught a lot of Diglett there and came back. It, but they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. Diggly! Anyway, you found a Diglett buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding Diglett. If it's okay, would you find the other Diglett too? Ah, uh, sure. Oh, what a kind person you are. Words can't express how grateful I am. I found... You found one Diglett so far, so please... Find a hundred and fifty more Diglett. What the fuck, dude? If you find them, please tell them to come back to me. So, yeah, there's this is a little mechanic. If you see any tiny little hairs in the ground, they'll be Diglett. Like right here. Eden. Alright. There's 17 more in this specific region. And here's another one. I could actually spend the whole day episode doing this, just rambling if I could. It's actually a lot easier to see it on this big screen that I'm recording off of than uh, I could in other uh, in my normal bedroom or something. I don't usually use this TV except for recording or when my dad's out of the house, which is not very often. Oh, there you are. So yeah, you can see all sorts of ones. I'm probably going to miss most, if not all of them. It's just going to happen because that's just how it is with this sort of thing. Let's see. You, uh Aha. -huh. Wait, no? No? Ah, uh, brain dead. I'm brain dead. There's probably one over here. I could probably just keep mashing A the entire time I'm wandering through uh, the Isle of Armor. And I could find a Diglett. Like this. Thirteen more in the Fields of Ana. But I think I'm wasting enough time as it is. I mean, I probably am, I'm probably not. Maybe you enjoy me derping about. Just enjoying the sights. There's a lot of new Pokemon around this area, too. Ooh, Pokeball. What are you? Ah! Camera? Anyway, it was a sunstone. Let's continue on and... Actually, let's see what he has to say. Thank you. Thanks to you, five more Diglett came back to me. You found six Diglett so far, so please find 154. So, I'd like to give this Pokemon to you. I met this Pokemon in Alola, just like my Diglett. We got ourselves an Alolan Meowth. The much nicer version. I even like the fat head of the evolved form. <laughs> it's accustomed to luxury because it used to live with a low royalty. As a result, it's very picky about food. I kind of like how Meowth's become like a new type of uh, Pokemon that has multiple Alo multiple forms. I like that. Hope that keeps being a thing. I see you. Ah, so yeah, that's another gimmick with finding the Diglett. The more you find, the more Alolan Pokemon you get as a gift, which is not bad, actually. A few Alolan Pokemon are really good. Trying to avoid the Lop Bunny so she doesn't kick my ass. There's an Abra around here. Eh. Enough derping. Let's head straight for the dojo. Oh, fiddlestick, so our new student decided to go back home? Seems that way, yep. I did my best to welcome her, but she just suddenly left after our battle. And I'd be hoping to welcome a new member to our little family here, too. Well, why hello, and who are you, love? Huh? Yeah! Of course, you must be the new student that's supposed to join the dojo today. Uh, sure? Right, 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 right. Exactly, ma'am, I swear. She must have changed her mind about joining the dojo. Oh, but here you are. I'm so happy you decided to come after all. Oh, everything's just coming up roses. Now, I'm quite sure they already told me your name, but... It's Ray. That's right, you're Ray. Of course you are, love. Oh, I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. My name's Honey. 
I help keep the place running. You consider me the lady of the house, not that the master's... Not that the master dojo is just any old house. Uh, why? How? What does she think she's doing just showing up like that? Is it good? Miss Honey will know that I lied. Seems you already met our Clara. Bit of an odd ducklet, but she's one of our own. She's training hard at the dojo so she can become a gym leader someday. I can trust the two of you to get along, right? <laughs> I'm sure we'll be best friends. Oh dear, but look at me. Here I am making you stand out around outside after you've come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. Listen, you. If you dare tell Miss Honey about what happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size. Do you understand? All right, creepy lady. <laughs> huh? Huh, thought I saw something. Anyway, let's go check out this dojo. But first I see an item. My OCD my my desire for all items. Expert belt, nice. Rises up like crazy, so I should probably take a quick look around out here before I go nuts. There is a nugget right here. Ooh. TM's uh, technical record 64 focus blast. That's a nice move. Heightens its mental focus and unleashes power, but also lowers target special defense stat, which is nice, but it has shit accuracy. Used to use it on a Gengar back in the day, and it was kind of rough. HP up, boost your HP points. It's for uh, EV stats. Anyway, enough dawdling. Let's not keep Honey waiting. And Clara. Well then. Everybody, I have an announcement to make. We got a new student joining us today. Please welcome Ray. I'm sure you all have lots to teach her. Hey ya! Welcome to the dojo! All our students are so good and hardworking. Everyone really gives all... They're all around here. Now here's someone who's not listed in my database of students. Hello, sweetie pie. It's not usual for you to, to bother greeting a newcomer. This is Hyde, my darling only son. Are you some kind of outlier? Here, you should give this a try. An EXP charm. Charm that increases the EXP of that Pokemon can get. A machine-like object is inside the charm. But don't open it, okay? It's got tech I developed inside, and I don't want you to go and ruin it. He's good with his hands, always making something new. Such a clever boy. And that handsome gent in the back is my darling hubby, and the very master of the Master Dojo. Hmm. Why, hello there. My name is Mustard. I'm rather good at Pokemon battles, you know. <laughs> I'm pleased as cheese that you could join us. I just heard my dad in the back. God dang it. <laughs> um, oh god, I'm just going to do this cheese to meet you. <laughs> I see you've got a sense of humor too. Good, good. Don't let him fool you into thinking he's just a silly old man. He's a real beast when he gets serious. Well, well, darling, I'll leave the rest to you. Ugh, voice crack there. Yay, this is my favorite part. I want to see just how good you are. So, why not have a battle with little old me? Just say the word when you're ready. <laughs> oh, what a weird old man. But he's awesome. <laughs> Yahoo! Are you ready to battle? Alright, Mario. Alrighty, let's get this show started. This is the best way to get to know the new students. <laughs> Dojo Master Mustard. Alrighty. I just can't wait to see you battle. You're hot out. Alrighty. That's actually a pretty high level main foo. Uh. I guess we'll go with double edge. This has been a recurring theme that I get faked out by every new Pokemon, isn't it? I 
By the way, I really like his theme. It's very old Chinese movie, kind of retro in a way. Ooh, looks like my little old sister's been cornered. I'm getting the shivers. Sending out a shinx. Oh, going to intimidate. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go with a... Yeah, Pyro Ball. Why the hell not? It's a bit of a stronger move, so maybe I'll counteract the Intimidate. Yeah, it did that. Nice. That was everything I'd hoped for and more! I lost! You're pretty strong, aren't you? Hey, the newbie won! Master wasn't going all out, but that's still pretty impressive. Who is this kid anyway? The way you battle really shows me how much you care about your Pokémon. Even if you don't come- even if you've come because of a misunderstanding, as long as you have a will to learn, then you're welcome at the Master Dojo. <laughs> He's already caught on. <laughs> I love this guy. I think we can help each other become stronger, and I'm happy you've come to join us. So on that note, here's your dojo uniform. Alrighty. With that on, you'll fit right in with the new stu with the students of my master Jojo. Hey newbie, if you want to change over. Or just take a break, use that room over there. Alrighty. I think I'll keep the outfit on for this DLC. It seems to fit. <laughs> now then. With Ray here now, the dojo's at max capacity. It's time to really start our training. You'll all be facing three trials. Three? Wait, there's a max capacity for this dojo? <laughs> and there's more. The person who completes the three trials will receive the secret armor of this dojo. Ooh, the secret set of armor, I want it! <laughs> That's the spirit. Now let me explain the first trial. Aw, but Master, you haven't even given me my uniform yet. Why does that kid get a uniform but not me? It's not fair. Oh dear, did you really not have a uniform? My bad, my bad. That's easy to fix, though. I have another uniform right here for you, Clara. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. What the? What was that? It's gone. Where'd my dojo uniform go? Bo, bo, bo. Huh? Book. At speed, was that really the slowpoke? Never seen a slowpoke move so fast. Hey, give it back. Give me my dojo uniform. Slow? Slow. Book! <laughs> hey, get back here! Oops. Guess I let them out of their Pokeballs a little too soon. <laughs> Master, what's up with those Slowpoke? This is my f the first trial, my students. You gotta catch all these... You gotta chase after those fast Slowpoke trained with care by little old me. But that's not all. You'll need to defeat them, too. And while you're at it, could you get Clara's dojo uniform back? Aw, do we have to? Well, that's that. Do your best, you lot. I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> and everyone's just dumbfounded. <laughs> and everyone's rushing out to do it. Ah... <sighs> uh. Nah. No. No need to change. Time to chase down those fast slowpoke. Uh, I think there's some other stuff you can do around here. I don't know if uh, we can do it just yet. No, I don't think so, because everyone's literally run out of the building. Let's see, what's over here? Through these doors is the battle court, sacred ground for battle and for valor. And tr entering for any reason other than battle is strictly forbidden. Alrighty. 
Slowpoke are usually super zoned out, but that didn't stop the Master from raising them to be super fast. What do you do, literally dump everything into speed IVs? You might be feeling nervous being new here and all, but don't you worry, all our students are good through and through. They'll take care of you. Alright. <laughs> Perfect, now it's sure to work. All that's left to do is to fire it up with the on button, so here we go, let's push it. Cripes, it powered down. Must still need more watts. Hmm. Does my AXP, AXP charm seem to be working as intended? Do you like it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I thought you'd be the type. That's my Cramomatic, and just to be clear, it's the invention of a century. It's my very own brilliant take on recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's out of power. If it just had enough watts, but Mummy won't give me any more of hers. All it would take is a merely 500 watts to get the Cramomatic up and running, you know. I can give you that. Whoa, seriously? You'll give me the 500 watts I need? And it'd take me ages to collect 500 and the outdoors and the... Well, let's just say our systems aren't compatible. I kind of stuttered there. But you, say, sorry, what was your name again? Ray? I guess you're more of the outdoorsy type, huh? Well, feed those watts you gave me into the Cramomatic at once and... Power on! Cram! Huh, perfect, just perfect. Put in four items you don't need and you'll get one new item in exchange. If, if, if you put in four of the apricorns that grow here on the aisle, you might get a rare Pokeball if you're really lucky. Since you gave me the watts and all, feel free to use the Cramomatic as much as you like. Alrighty, I think there's one thing that I can do. Uh, let's see, will this work? Oh, it's going to make me say, fuck. Oh well. An ability capsule, that's what I was hoping it'd make. It's really rare to get those from the battle tower, but you can just make that with some rare candies. Not bad. <laughs> but anyway, let's head out and see what's going on. Oh, it's foggy now. And they're just fucking off into the wild. God, I've never seen Slowpoke move that fast. What are they? Alrighty then. I think there's one more thing we can do really quickly. Yeah, this lady. You seem to have an awesome bike. Let's customize let me customize it if you like. Uh yes, customize my bike. Uh, glistening black. Alright. Okay, I want to change my outfit. Rotom colors. Alright. So now, <laughs> we've got this nice little uh, trail on the back and it's moving a little bit faster now. There's some other guys here. This guy sells uh, cooking items. And she sells some berries in case you want to make some curry. And who oh, did my eyes deceive me? No, there's a diglet right here. Ah, <sighs> I'm gonna be spending so much time looking for these diglets. Up! Ah, well, speak of the devil. <laughs> there's another one. Oy vey. Five, uh, nine more diglets in this area. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. We've actually done quite a bit. And, well, there's still a lot more to, be, to do. There's a lot to explore on this island, and... Well, we gotta see... We gotta catch those slowpoke and help Clara get her outfit. <laughs> Uh, I feel both sorry for her and not sorry at the same time. But anyway, that's it for this episode. This has been Ray Moonwolf, signing out.
later, guys, and have a good day.